Hello class. In this video we are going to continue with 3D models and start looking at some 3D tools. Uh, we're going to start with looking at materials and again one of the things about SketchUp in particular is that materials are good and then you have a lot of flexibility in materials in SketchUp in terms of color and sizing and rotation all this but they don't really look quite real and a couple simple simple things in Photoshop will, can really enhance your materials and I'll talk a little bit about the theory in class probably but uh, but I want to show you how you actually do this in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my 3D mode. So I'm going to come over here to this button and click to 3D. The reason for that is you got lots of options and we'll go over these over time but one of them is I can see all the materials in my model by hitting this button right here. It's going to here and so these are all the materials that are in this model. And I'm going to start with a relatively easy one which is going to be this tan siding one. So I'm going to click here and go to tan siding and, and we see I've got up here in the properties I can change a bunch of factors about this including the one we're going to look at right now which is uh, a bump map. So um, what I need to do first is I need to make a bump map and so I'm going to go to file open and I'm going to start with the material itself which is this this thing here so what you might have been um, at this sort of level and you see a house model it made the, the folder of materials and so you come in here you might have to change this to JPEG if it's not set to JPEG if you don't see anything if you don't see materials make sure this is set to JPEG select the material you want to work with and you open it and right so this material was tiled across my image to make this folder and so I'm going to turn this into a bump map which is essentially a grayscale image and so to make it grayscale the first thing I'm going to do is go to image adjust hue saturation and I'm just going to, oop, not lightness, I'll set that to zero. Sorry, that was my bad. I'm going to take saturation down to zero, and there we go. It's a great grayscale. Now, I can play with the brightness contrast or levels, which is what I'm going to do to make this uh, even better. But even this alone is going to work pretty well. But just sort of the next step, I'm going to do adjust. I'm going to go to levels. And the way the bump map works, if something is like 50% gray, it's going to be even. It's not going to be bumped. If it's black, it'll be bumped the furthest inwards. And if it's white, it's going to be bumped the furthest outward. So the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to assume that my siding is basically flat. So I'm going to go to the mid gray here, which is this button, and just click over my siding. There might not be any adjustment there because this might have set been right pretty close to 50%, but you may or may not see adjustment if you do it. And they're going to hit this black button. Uh, this black eyedropper. I'm going to select the darkest area of mine and we can see that does in my case it did darken that so so it's going to give me the most control. It's going to allow uh, my face to stay even and have these grooves be deep in. I'll be able to actually control the level in Photoshop. I'll show you here in a minute but I'm going to say OK and I'm going to save this as a JPEG and I'm going to call it Siding Bump and say OK and I like to save mine at maximum so I'll just say OK there All right. and then I'm going to come over to my model and I'm going to come up to this properties here I'm going to go over to this folder where it says bump I'm going to come over here I'm going to I'm going to say low texture so I can get the one I just made which is siding bump which is right here I'm going to say OK and I'll think and you, you might see slight changes there so far zoomed out you might not see a lot um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on my um, project here so we can get a good look at the siding so, so I can show you what what's happening here because it's pretty cool so I'm going to zoom way up into here now I don't have my bump set very high but watch what happens as I as I pull this up we can see that those grooves in the wood siding and even the slight texture of that wood siding get more and more enhanced the further up this goes of course that's way too much because the reality is siding doesn't have all that much texture and the grooves really aren't all that deep but that you know that looks flat and just by pulling up just a little bit really enhances that texture um, which which you know will add a little bit of quality and this isn't even fully rendered yet I, I'll have to get to a few videos to show you how to fully render all of this and, and it'll look really even better but uh, but you know this little detail can really add enhancement so I might go a little crazy set it about 25 percent just to to sort of be in your face about it and eh, I'll go down to 20 I'll say say that's the case and so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do that for all your materials alright and I'm gonna probably show a couple more videos on um, how to how to do some especially like this brick because the brick is going to be interesting because 
you might not know how to set up the bump map quite right because it's going to be backwards. So I'll probably show that in the next video. But essentially, it's the same thing. Again, you'll have it, sometimes you have to invert your bump maps, and that'll be for the next video. All right, see you there.